right, there you go. Uh, hello, everybody. Hey. Hello. We're actually doing comedy. Hello. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? So, uh, before I get started, you uh, from New York? See. Uh, yes, my, my mom's from Jamaica. Okay. Yeah. Queens. Queens. Queens, see? Yeah. My, my wife uh, is from the Caribbean. Um, so that is, it's actually true, so that's kind of, uh, anyway, um, yeah, have you, uh, are you guys in a relationship with anyone? Yourself. <laughs> now, I, I bring this up because we were talking about this before I came up here, uh, like, when I first arrived. Um, I've been with my wife for, uh, well, we've been married next month for 27 years. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, well, no, no. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. Uh, I, I do celebrate, we celebrate two anniversaries. The anniversary of our first date and the anniversary of the day that we got married. What that? See, I wouldn't guarantee to get laid at least twice a year. So, so there's that. Uh, my, my wife's actually very, very proud. Uh, that we've been together for 27 years, and she tells people that, that, that we've been together for 27 years. Uh, but she also tells people that um, she's 39. <laughs> people start doing the math, right? Yeah. yeah. She made me into a pervert, is what I'm saying. Actually, uh, I, I'm from, uh, I tell, do, you, do, do any of you guys value by your age? No. I do. I, I tell people I'm 10 years older than I actually am, so I can get compliments, and I'll take a compliment because I'm shallow, but now I realize if I tell people I'm 10 years older than I actually am, they want me dead. <laughs> so that's just uh, a problem. Yes. Yeah, just, one. just a little bit of one. Now, but uh, we were quarantined together, my wife and myself, and so it was just the two of us, and COVID, you know, this is my, my hair uh, tells the story. So, so we were watching a bunch of different stuff, screaming, sir, you know, it was great. Uh, Hollywood, I don't know if you've seen it, I recommend it, it's actually quite good, it's on Netflix. Uh, but then we started running out of things to watch, and things got, you know, about three months in, we're going on like, watching shows like Snapped. Almost got away with it. Wise with knives. She, she started writing notes. Should I be worried? Yeah. But, but it's true, I, I've, uh, you know, I, my real age, my real age, I'm 51 years old. Yeah, 51 years old. You know what happens when you turn into your 50s? You get your AARP card. That's, seriously, that's my license to do whatever I want. I'm gonna be driving down the street with my left turn signal on, on Highway 101 southbound, uh, lane splitting in my Mazda, and when I get pulled over, I'll whip out my AARP card. Cops gonna look at it, look at me, look at it, look at me, and be like, ah, drama old, that's funny. You know, you would have gotten away with this anyway, because you're white. And have uh, it back to me. Uh, uh, how I see that happen. Yeah. I haven't actually done comedy since um, oh three months. March. Something like that. March, yeah. And and I miss it, I miss it a lot. And I actually am from uh, Campbell, California. And so I drove uh, what sixty something miles uh, to, to come here to, to entertain for me today. It's fantastic. And just the chance to do it is great, you know. And I, I'll tell you something. I was actually uh, when I parked my car. I kid you not. There was a kid on a leash. There was a kid on a leash, and uh, I, I all I can think to myself is that I prefer my kids to be free range. <laughs> Oh, because then they taste better. You put an apple in their mouth, you put them on their tits with spit. You know, they'll taste uh, just like, just like veal. Baby back ribs. <laughs> well, a little bit more about me. I was born Irish and Catholic. And as a good Catholic, you have to give up uh, something for Lent. So this year I gave up going outside. <laughs> I, I actually, I, I will tell you, um, I go to, I, I'm a good Catholic. I, I go to church twice a year. <laughs> Christmas and Easter, exactly. And, and here's the thing. I have ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> a heckler. I have a heckler. That's fantastic. All right. But I, I have ADHD and I have ADD. Uh, well, it's the same thing. Uh, and, and, and I have a really hard time concentrating, so I really try to concentrate on, on what the gospel says and all that stuff. Uh, but I can't help but think about this as if it took place today. 
right? So I always make uh, think of, imagine it as a particular scenario. So for example, there's a story about Barabbas and Jesus who's going to be set free by Pontius Pilate. He's going to let the crowd decide. Well, if that happened nowadays, it would be the form of a reality show. And it would go something like this. I'm Pontius Pilate, and welcome to crucifixion. The show where you have to be there to decide who gets to live and who gets to die. So let's meet our contestants. First, we have Barabbas and Nefarius up against Jesus H. Christ. Now, the H stands for Hubert, his middle name. One trivia. Now, if you want Barabbas to live, the text to 666, unless you're German, is 999, but if you're German, hold your phone up, say Now, oh, we have the results? West Coast doesn't get the vote? Oh, they don't matter anyway. Okay, so the person that's going to be set free is Barabbas, but Jesus, you get our consolation prize, and this time it's uh, death. But before we nail you, let's, let's bring in the apostles, because we've got one last song. Come on in, the apostles. Now, I, I doubt Thomas will be here, and Judas was hanging outside. We'll bring the rest of the apostles. I'm Pontius Pilate reminding you, I'm washing my hands of this whole show, so filling in for me next week will be Ryan Seacrest. Until then, peace out. And then Jesus is going, like, okay, I don't like reality shows. That's kind of how I, I, I pictured that. You know. But you know, uh, four years ago, I remember doing stand-up comedy. This is about my ADHD, right? This actually happened. I was in Fresno four years ago when Trump was running for president, for the, for the, you know, like originally. And I, I started talking about Trump, and somehow I veered off to the maple syrup cartel. That actually happened. You guys know about the maple syrup cartel? Oh, this is a true story. And it's about four years ago. Uh, there, there is a strategic reserve of maple syrup in Canada. Thank God. Yes. Here we have a strategic reserve of oil. Shows the difference in our priorities. Because in Canada, all they're after is a really good breakfast. But, and, and this is true. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of maple syrup were missing out of the strategic reserve. Yeah. Hundreds of gallons. I'm thinking to myself, how in the heck does that happen? Right? So it's a strategic reserve. Was it like a Mission Impossible thing where they're methodically planning it out? Was it one of those, uh, oh gosh, uh, Mission Impossible things with dodging lasers? And then I realized, no, they're Canadian. They probably just left the door locked. <laughs> I still love that, right? And, and that's why I always record, because like, you don't know what kind of thing is just going to pop out of my mouth and go, like, oh, that's pretty good. Let me write and so that's, you know, doing comedy. By the way, give, the, give them a round of applause for supporting live comedy. Yes. I, I will tell you, we, we have been, uh, all of us, all of us comedians, we, we love performing, uh, and I went from performing a lot to not. And uh, when, it, when it's like abrupt like that, it's kind of like taking your, your best baby aside. And, you know, so thank you, thank you so much. Well, and, and uh, this this is true. I have three older sisters, uh, and so you know what that means. Hand me downs. So, and this is true. I used to get yellow corduroy pants with no fly. Cool. Okay. Had had a purple huffy with tassels nice. and a banana seat. It, it's like my parents wanted me to get beaten up. But the name Johnny Corn, Johnny Corn is not my, uh, my real name, that's a stage name. But the reason why I have it is because my, I have three older sisters, and like I said, my mom for Christmas gave me the Joey doll by Fisher Price, which had, uh, where you can tie the shoes, and I was, however old you are, to learn to tie your shoes, so let's say 28, and probably about five, right? And so um, I said, do I need to name him Joey? And she says, no, dear, you can name him whatever you want. So, so, so I said to him, good, I'm going to name him Johnny Corn. And my mom started laughing. She goes like, why is Johnny Corn? And I said, after my two favorite things, me and Corn. She was the mentality of me at that age, right? Well, my sisters heard that and ran with it. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. You, know, uh, I, you guys are great. Have a wonderful, uh, it, it, it's just be good to be out here performing. And uh, I, I haven't seen you guys in like forever, you know, playing some comedians over here. Um, so thank you. Thank you for supporting my comedy. And look, in this time of COVID and shelter in place and not having jobs and all that stuff, I'm going to leave you with this thought for the day. The best protection against identity theft is bad credit. <laughs> I'm trying to come out of 
Thank you.